All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I am today going to show you the bane of my NVIDIA experience that has cost me not one, not two, not three, but seven GPUs worth of NVIDIA money and a whole lot of pain and suffering and just complete ignorance when it comes to PC. I've been irritated. I've been irritated. I've made tons of videos deriding NVIDIA and being negative about it. But today, <clears throat> my friends, I am finally in the honeymoon stage after three years of, yeah, this, this is insane. This is insane. So what we're looking at right here is the NVIDIA control panel. Now, there are a few things that you're going to want to do. Um, so first of all, you're going to go into your... Um, is it is it the uh, color settings yeah so you're gonna go into color settings adjust video color settings you're gonna go to advanced in the dynamic range thing you're gonna set to full you want that on full that way you get to take advantage of the full color range but that doesn't stop there this was the setting that I was setting all the time and people are like yeah man you can you can get like better colors so I would set this and then you go back into the adjust desktop color um, settings so then you'll click into here and this will bring up this menu for you now you can set up your digital vibrance which is right here uh digital vibrance i i set mine all the way to 100 obviously it makes it like really blowing out looking right here but in game trust me it's absolutely incredible uh, and you can set that all the way from from one to a hundred wherever you feel better with it um, I I just I love my vibrant colors in video games. I I, I don't know why, but it just looks incredible to me. Um, so <clears throat> the thing that's cost me seven GPUs, a lot of headaches, and and turned me pretty dang negative, <clears throat> has to do with this. Has to do with this. This this option literally fixes DLSS for me too. Literally fixes DLSS for me. It doesn't look the way it looked like before i would click dlss and it would look like i was losing Im more image quality this fixes that issue so as what i was doing is i would come over here and i would set the digital vibrance but then i would click this button because it, it says like override you're like oh yeah i gotta override that you know because there's other settings in here i'm going to show you in a minute that you have to click the override thing to be able to get in there to set the the settings and so i would click that thinking that i needed to do that then i would apply that as you can see once you apply it 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 gets rid of all your stuff it takes it off but i never noticed that i i, I literally never noticed that it took this away that it took that away so you click back off of that and you apply that and then you get your vibrant colors back that is so dumb like i, I can't believe how freaking how i how i missed that for three years and seven gpus it wasn't until nvidia put out the app that i finally figured this out because i was playing around in here because you can do that in the app too you can like turn on the uh digital vibrance or whatever and Man, I just, I didn't do it. So now I got my slider. That fixed it for me. So if you go back into like the uh, color settings or um, which which one is it? There's, there's another one or maybe it's video image settings. Okay, so right here, like you click one of these. Is it one of these? Use NVIDIA. Oh no, it's up here. Huh, manage 3D settings. Uh, no, actually it's. me off i'm just trying to find the right one um use my preference it's it's like this one but then there's another one where the freak is it though see that's the one thing i don't like about this this control panel this control panel is like very 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 annoying sometimes maybe it's in the display thing no set up g-sync desktop size there's another one of these that you uh that you uh, have to select uh, with the video player settings. I think it's this one right here. Like, I, I think it is this one. Like, if you have this or something, and then you like try to like set something up in here. One of them threw me off. One of them threw me off because you have to select it. I, I think it was it's something like this 
to get this um, dynamic range. I just don't remember which one of these tabs is in. Maybe, maybe it is under the manage 3D settings. Maybe it is under here. And then you go into power management, image scaling. I, I can't even find it now. Like I, I, I don't even know. Like it was one that I was playing around with and and it would and you would have to like set the other one just so that you could adjust the settings in there. Um, gosh, where is that one? Maybe it was this one. Maybe it was that that I was always just in this. No, because you have to select it so that you can uh, so that you can set up the uh, full. Um, Enable high dynamic range and super resolution RTX. Okay, so it's not in that one. Maybe it was. Maybe it is like something like I, I yeah I don't know. But that that is the thing that has literally been driving me nuts with with the Nvidia experience. Like man, setting that up was such a pain in the butt. There was some other setting in here that I was always playing around with. Um, I just, I don't understand. I don't remember where it is. Hopefully I can find it someday and then I can make you another, another video. Um, all right, let's try in this one. Oh, right here, right here. Change resolution. This one right here. So, so this, this, this is it. Sorry, it took me a minute to find this, but yeah. So apply the following settings. Um, use Nvidia color settings. You have to click this so that you can get like the 10 bit, um, and then put the output dynamic range to full because it's set to limited default. Um, and so you got to get in here and you got to set that. So when I did this, that there was, was like, okay, yeah. And, and, and I, and I used just this setting for, for a long time on like the first three or, or four of the NVIDIA GPUs, like the, the two laptops, the 30, the 3060 Ti, and then the 3080, the 4070 is when I found, oh, wait, this was four or five, six. So six GPUs. I, don't, I haven't had seven yet. Um, so once I got to once I got to uh, when, once I got to the 4070, that's when I found uh, this this setting right here, and then the digital vibrance right there. I found that, but then I was clicking this, and so the 4070 was was it was a bust too. But now with the 4070 Super, I finally figured this out, and I'm happy. I am finally in Nvidia honeymoon phase stage. This is awesome. So. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, my friends. And uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching as I <laughs> as I try to uh, to to fix things and, and educate people on the, the, the things that I found. So you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching.